Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. Doctors are calling for flu jabs to be made free for all Canberrans as cases surge across the country. It comes after Queensland moved to make the shots free of charge, with New South Wales expected to follow suit as early as next week. Up to a million kids took part in the National Simultaneous Storytime today. This year's book was called Family Tree, written by Australian musician Josh Pike, chosen for its celebration of diversity, family and community. Canberra residents were amongst those who had the chance to read along on YouTube this morning, with the National Library of Australia channel hosting the event. Take a look at sport now and the Raiders have named their team for Sunday afternoon's clash against the Parramatta Eels at GIO Stadium. Two massive inclusions for Canberra include Jamal Fogarty and Captain Jared Croker returning, while the Eels centre Wanga Blake returns to, to action after rehabbing a knee injury. Fogarty will be replacing Brad Schneider at halfback, while Xavier Savage will start at fullback for the injured Charles Nickel Klockstad. Take a look at today's weather map now. Morning fog in Cooma, warming up to 15 degrees. 16 in Canberra, partly cloudy. 14 degrees in Goulburn with a few showers around. More news next hour. Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. Take a look at our top story today. Lake Illawarra Police are still looking for 41-year-old Rebecca Monaghan. She's wanted in relation to a warrant and is known to frequent areas like Lake Illawarra, Port Kembla and Mount Warrigal. Police describe her as being of Aboriginal in appearance, around 180 centimetres tall with blonde hair and a thin build. If you see her, contact Crime Stoppers. Flu shots are expected to be free of charge in New South Wales from as early as next week. Infections climbing to almost 12,000 this month alone. Government officials are still working on how the scheme will work, but Chief Health Officer Kerry Chant says it's crucial we get jabbed. And it looks like it's only going to get tougher for hundreds of thousands of families around the state with a power bill price hike on the way. The three biggest retailers will announce their increases next month as the cost of coal and gas continues to soar. Some households could face a $200 increase in their annual bills from July. Taking a look at today's weather map now, it's looking like a rainy Wednesday across the Illawarra and south coast today. 19 degrees in Wollongong, showers becoming less likely into the afternoon. I'll have more local news next hour. I'll see you then. Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. New South Wales is considering following in Queensland's footsteps by making flu jabs free this winter. More than 10,500 influenza cases have been reported across the country so far this year, with State Health Minister Brad Hazard saying an announcement will be made in the coming days. And up to a million kids took part in the National Simultaneous Storytime today. This year's book was called Family Tree, written by Australian musician Josh Pike, chosen for its celebration of diversity, family and community. Central West residents were amongst those who had the chance to read along on YouTube this morning with the National Library of Australia channel hosting the event. Taking a look at sport now and another member of the Dubbo Cycling Club has gotten the call up to the international stage. Teenager Tyler Puzica will be competing in this year's Junior Track World Championships in Israel. The born and bred Central West talent is one of 12 riders from Australia heading to Tel Aviv in August. Having a look at today's weather forecast now, partly cloudy in Dubbo, 20 degrees, 14 in orange, bit overcast. 19 in Cowra, partly cloudy as well. I have more local news next hour. I'll see you soon. Good morning, I'm Madeline Kerr with your local 10 News update. Take a look at our top story today. Healthcare will be front and centre in Wagga this week with Regional Medical Specialists Association bringing its fourth annual conference to the city. Addressing the issues that need to be overcome for regional New South Wales to secure access to quality specialist medical care. The Minister for Regional Health, Bronnie Taylor, will be in attendance as well as a number of keynote speakers. 
The mayor of Cootamundra, Gundagai, is calling on locals to dob in vandals following a spate of attacks on amenities in local parks and gardens. Charlie Shearhan says it's not only a disgusting act, it's a bad look for visitors. It's distressing for council staff and a terrible waste of ratepayers' money. He's asking locals to report any incident as soon as possible, with many areas having CCTV, which could identify the culprits. Taking a look at sport, and there'll be one clear leader at the top of the table after this weekend's Farrah Netball League clash. North Wagga are travelling to Charles Sturt University this Saturday, treating fans to a heated first versus second round matchup. Taking a look at today's weather map now, 20 degrees in Griffith, partly cloudy conditions, mostly sunny in Wagga, 19 degrees. I'll have more news soon.